Every business professional needs a good headshot. And today I'm going to show you how to take a good headshot, even if you know nothing about photography and even if you don't think you're photogenic. And the best part is all you need is your phone. A lot of people think headshots are just for artists and musicians and celebrities, but in today's digital world, business people, not just entertainers, need a good professional headshot for things like their website, their social media profiles, their gravatar image for blog commenting and online communities, as well as media inquiries or interviews with podcasters, bloggers, and YouTube presenters. Your headshot is part of your official online business card. If you want a great headshot versus one that's just sort of meh, here are the tips and tricks you need to know. First, what should you wear for a professional headshot? Well, that depends on the image you want to project. If you're a doctor, you probably want to be seen in a lab coat or business attire rather than casual beachwear. Remember, as the saying goes, you only get one shot to make a first impression. So dress the part for the image you want to project. What's the best headshot pose? The biggest thing is to try and look as natural as possible, not staged or forced. Three of the most common tips from professional photographers photographers are, number one, pay attention to your posture. Keep your shoulders back and your chest out. Don't slouch. Next, pay attention to your chin. Nobody wants to look like they have a double chin, especially when you really don't have a double chin. The trick to minimizing a double chin is tilting your chin down slightly and moving your face forward, kind of like you're a turtle coming out of your shell. Another trick for the best headshot pose is to use an angle. Instead of your head and shoulders facing straight at the camera like a mugshot, rotate your torso slightly away from the camera like 10 to 30 degrees, then turn your head back to make eye contact with the camera. It's a subtle thing, but it gives your headshot a professional feel. Should you smile in your headshot? In my opinion, yes, absolutely. I know there are some schools of thought that say in a corporate or business headshot, you should look serious. I say, screw that. Smile way more people will respond positively to a cheerful looking headshot than some blank, serious stare. Do you need a professional headshot background? Not really. It's usually best to go with a simple homogeneous background so the attention stays on your head and shoulders. You can experiment with light versus dark backgrounds to see what looks best with your hair and skin color as well as your wardrobe. And you can try an outdoorsy background like trees and mountains and buildings if you want, just as long as the background doesn't distract from your face. The next tip pertains specifically to your phone. Make sure to clean your camera lens. Be honest, when's the last time you cleaned the lens on your camera? Well, if you're like me, it's like never. I know this seems like a no-brainer, but sometimes it's the simple things that make all the difference. Now, the next few tips are about headshot technique. The single biggest factor in getting a good-looking headshot is to get the lighting right. When possible, natural sunlight is the best, and it's free. Even a cloudy day has plenty of light and can sometimes produce great headshots because the light's a bit softer than in full sun. If indoors, try and get near a window. Just make sure the sunlight is pointing at your face because if the sunlight is at your back, it's probably going to mess up the camera's automatic exposure and you'll end up with a silhouette effect. The main goal with lighting is to avoid shadows. The next tip for a great headshot is to take lots of pictures because some of your headshots might be blurry. Some you'll have your eyes closed or a goofy look on your face. So snap away. It's not like you're wasting expensive camera film. Experiment with indoor headshots versus outdoor headshots. Smiling with teeth versus smiling without showing your teeth. Me personally, I usually have to take about 10 pictures to get one really good one. But even if you have to take a hundred pictures to get one good one, do it because one good headshot can last you for years. Then you can delete the other 99 pictures that didn't make the final cut. A quick pro tip regarding showing your teeth versus not showing your teeth when you smile. According to most professional photographers, showing your teeth when you smile usually produces a better headshot. My final headshot tip, and this one is optional, do a final touch up with a filter or image editor. If you use the tips and tricks I've just shared with you, most of the heavy lifting will be done by your phone because today's camera phone technology is pretty amazing. But if you wanna do a little last minute touch up work to get your headshot just right, the image editor on your phone might be all you'll need. You can do cropping, apply preset filters, and all kinds of manual adjustments if you want. Or if you're not comfortable doing headshot edits 
on your phone, you can export your headshot to a desktop image editor like Canva or Adobe Photoshop and do your final touch-ups there. So that's how you take a professional headshot using only your phone. Remember, the reason why you need a good headshot is people are curious. They want to see who they might be doing business with. Yes, it is possible to connect with people using just words without any headshot, but I guarantee you'll convey more trust and you'll have a stronger connection with prospective clients when you publicly display a nice looking professional headshot. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. My name is Mark Brinker. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. That really helps out our channel. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.